What's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today we're taking a look at the first film in the Has Fallen trilogy starring Gerard Butler. Olympus Has Fallen. This in preparation, of course, to see Angel Has Fallen for the first time when it comes out to digital next week. Today I will be reviewing the first film and tomorrow will be my review of London Has Fallen. And finally, next week I will review Angel. So, let's get started. What is Olympus Has Fallen all about? Well, most people already know exactly what it is, but in case you don't, it's essentially Die Hard, but in the White House. A bunch of terrorists bombard the White House and take the president captive, while one lone man called Mike Banning is hiding somewhere in the White House, destroying this problem from the inside out. There's something that needs to be said right away. Olympus Has Fallen is not original, not in the least bit. While it technically came out before White House Down by a couple months, it has the same exact plot, more or less. And now that both films have come out more than six years ago, there's a good chance that a blind audience may watch White House Down first, and Olympus just feels like a copycat. It's more than that, though, because you can also see a similar plot in Air Force One, where it's not the White House, but Air Force One that is hijacked, and this time the president takes down the bad guys himself one by one. Same idea again, but originality isn't really why you watch a movie. It helps to be original, but there's a lot more to it than that. That being said, when I saw Olympus Has Fallen and White House Down when they were first released in 2013, I infamously preferred White House Down, and I'll attempt to explain why. When you have an entire movie take place in one spot, that one spot becomes as much of a character as everybody else, and production design becomes super important. As an audience member, it's important to know that this whole war is occurring inside the White House. You have to believe it's the White House, and that was simply more believable and noticeable in White House Down, where they literally built a replica White House, or at least 60% of one, for the film. And you believe that everything in that movie is the White House more than you do in Olympus Has Fallen, which feels like maybe a large museum with portraits of presidents on the wall. Never once do I feel like this is really the White House. Now, another problem with that comes down to visuals. This film has some underlining issues when it comes down to its CGI. A lot of it doesn't mix well with the film for whatever reason. 2013 is relatively recent, and problems with CGI shouldn't even be that big of an issue, especially for what they were utilizing with it, which was a lot of metal. Metal is a really easy thing to replicate in CGI, but it also requires a lot of specifics when it comes down to shading because metal shines and something about the lighting and the shading just didn't work perfectly. Now let me stop talking crap on the movie and start praising it where it deserves some credit. If my memory serves correctly, this is a much more grounded, believable, and human version of the story because the casting works a thousand times better than White House Down which had the likes of Jamie Foxx and Channing Tatum in it, while this had people like Gerard Butler, Morgan Freeman, and Aaron Eckhart, all of which fit the bill a lot better than the other. There was also a lot more character development in this, and you can connect with them as people a little bit easier, which helped make the movie itself feel pretty tense when bad things ultimately happen. Also, the action itself was high energy and edited together in a smart way, not just really close and choppy to the point where you don't even know what's happening. No, no, no. The editing in this film definitely works and helps the film feel like a good action thriller. All in all, this film is imperfect, but it's also the type of movie that people accept as imperfect because nobody is asking for an award-winning action film. They're mostly wanting a fun action romp that you can just shut your brain off to, and Olympus Has Fallen delivers on that front. Rating time, I rated Olympus Has Fallen 77%. 77 out of 100 possible stars, granting it the letter grade of C+. Plus. Originally, my score for this film was actually 70%, so the experience as a whole has gotten better. Take that as you will. Alright guys, I need you to tell me your thoughts on this Has Fallen trilogy. Which one is your favorite? And as for YouTube, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you like this review and would like to see some more like it. Hit the thumbs up as that always helps out my channel. And don't forget about that little bell icon because that helps notify you when I come out with my next review. But until then, peace out!